Therefore, get straight through into the top eight of the playoffs into a great position and a great position right now for Finn as he falls back. What? Left in the open. How does he hit two? In that situation with the USP, Shush will try to combat that with aggression toward the bathrooms, having already gotten the kill. It's Boomich that stepped inside the site. This is a fast pistol round, Jason. Yeah, and I mean, it, it might have been effective. It might have really caught him off guard if it wasn't for Finn. He had no business getting a double kill. Stown's going to try and bring this back. This is still possible despite the incredible opening from Bit in this final match of Group D for both of these teams. Flank from Electronic, it's massive, but he can't connect the shot. He wants to stay alive. He doesn't need to commit to the fight. Kind of all they can do at the moment. Kadian just making sure that Electronic is truly pushed all the way back. Stown is making sure he can't get spotted. So you're putting a little bit of pressure on Navi to make a decision of which wow. bomb site they want to protect. That's great, shooting from Stown. Here we go, the dualies, Perfecto, locked into the corner. He's got no backup, and they're so low, spamming away, he's got the first. Dooley's doing damage, but can't collect the kill. The UPS could be a one-shot wonder. It is, but it's in the hands of Electronic instead. The CT side wins it out in a one-on-one. -on -one. That's not a fun spam to take. No, nope, not really. Oh, that's a lovely flash, though. Not a fun bullet to take if you're bit. It's a lovely sequence. The Molotov to force him out into the opener to make sure that he's going to be in the open to catch that flashbang full on. Oh, good. Oh, no. Wow. Refresh gets dinked through the boards, and he says, screw it. I'll take two down through the smoke in the first map of their BO3 against Astralis is win rounds like this, two on fives, three on fives, incredible heroic individual plays. This is interesting from Simple Self Smoke. He's gonna try and play around it. It's perfect so far. He actually got two in that sequence. Bomb was dropped. If he had found the third, my God, what a play that would have been. But it's Boomich now that has a chance. Thanks to that Self Smoke. Thanks to that cagey play from Simple. And as he goes over the dumpster, unfortunately, he does not account for the fact that Shush was the one still over by the truck. And he's reading it at the moment. You can see he sent the bomb back. He said, okay, you guys spotted him out over at the B bomb site. He knows that. We know that. He's going to come over towards A. They've read it perfectly, but you still can't stop him. It, the, the one thing they didn't read is the problem is that the, the, the late smoke was thrown from CT. Oh. And it was designed entirely to shut down and anyone taking this B site. So even though Simple gets two kills on A, they're going to march in open at this point in time. So they figured it out, Heroic. They certainly were aware as soon as that op was on the other side and what that smoke meant that he was likely the one that even threw it. So good read. Canadian, as you say, was the one to talk about it. He's very aware in these situations, as we found out yesterday, just listening to his ass an assessment of both Navi and Astralis, but the rotation back around, that's brilliant from Navi. It's a story as old as time. Like when, when even on the CT side, when even when you're winning and you're kind of racking up rounds, when you're not winning them clean and He's stuck. money's going low, well, simple as a flashbang for him. Here we go. It's going to peak with that. And he's going to get dropped. Molotov wow. was coming in as well. Good shot from Tess is probably completely blind. Well, uh, Navi's doing, we saw Bit earlier, Electronic a couple times, and Pistron, and now here, he's gonna get one more. So yeah, Refresh and Tessas are into the bomb site again. So low on the time, they need the kills. Turns, oh no, Tessas, one more! That's a quad kill. That is incredible stuff from Tessas. What's up, guys? Check out hotpizza.gg, a really good case opening website. Recently, Hot Pizza has added really cool new operational cases. For example, in this new case, you can get a special rare item which guarantees you 100% profit. Also, they are holding a new event as well. First, select your preferred payment method, and for every $1 deposited, you get one bomb. Once you get 100 of them, you can open a new operational case for free and get a nice bonus item. Also, don't forget to use my code METS to get 50 cents for free and start opening more cases. The website has many other modes like case openings, case battles, and case upgrades. Link to the website is in the description below. Would like to find someone around the edge, but great utility usages force him off the angle. Perfect flashbang. Nice shots from Boomich. Would have thought the follow-up would have been in Refresh's favor because it was a similar angle. He could almost see the uh, muzzle flash from the AK, but couldn't quite locate it fast enough. Boomich down to 30 HP, but now it's on bits, and he has long. He's still worried there's someone behind him. Shadow showing easy first shot. He's going to keep his attention in the sight, knowing that they're wrapping it around 11 seconds. Stowen has to hold this. Backing away, they're not going to go for it. He's out. Stowen doesn't have the confidence to have Katie and cover him off, and as they try and fade away, here comes Electronic. Stowen needs to stay alive as well. Time's gone now, and he needs to keep the AK in play. That's aggressive to slide out. Man, oh man, he stays up, though. And he can't sit back with an AWP. He's got to be forward with the AK-47 this round. He's going to try and activate refresh through this smoke and monster tunnel. Oh, that's perfect. That's such a perfect flashbang. Perfecto had him covered, wow. but indeed he lost the battle. And the bomb is just lurking up long. It's a fake. It was a ruse all along.
Boomage, though. Getting one kill. They're already rotating back. Simple's got KD and covered off. What's the read on this? They instantly knew. Simple's on the turn, and he's got Tessis as well. You were absolutely right. Perfecto tried to cover, but couldn't do it. <laughs> Boomage is on the case. What a read. I'm not sure what it was that caused it, but Simple catching out KD and inside a connector was massive. And now Heroic has to deal with this. They can't let Simple just sit here, because it does look like they want to move towards long, and good on her. We're going to refresh, excuse me. Doesn't even take any damage. Oh, he wanted that fight. He was immediately on the move to Simple. Not scared of that at all. Bit, meanwhile, on the site. Blinded. Has Boomich covering inside of the truck corner. Good first find. Refresh gone. This time around, couldn't follow it up. Flower pot position. Headshot shows. And Shush was able to get the shot over top of it. Flank for Electronic. Good for one. Again. And Cadian's gone. Seven seconds trying to get the AWP out. Tagged once. But despite slowing his movement down, he will get far enough back for safety. Got heaven as well. Don't forget, Simple is there with the AWP. He's going to use the railing so we can see a little bit closer as well. Smoke to cover the catwalk position. But who's above that? Electronic waiting the whole time. And he can fall off that angle. It's hard to wall, but he goes back up for more. Wrong decision for him to make. As he goes down, Stowen uses it in reverse. And he knows there was one to his right. But he's worried of ramp because when he swings out, it's Simple's AWP that he has to contend with next. He likes to go with the pistol <laughs> instead, though, from that range. Took a little while to finish him off. Bullet's not quite connecting the way Simple would have liked, but... Molotov at the ready. So Kadian wants to get his teammates in. That's going to go straight toward the barrels. There'll be a counter Molotov, however, thrown by Perfecto, but perfect timing on the flash will leave him blinded no up. Way. How do they trip over each other? Tied their shoelaces together, and Electronic just absolutely watched them fall to the ground in front of him. Fires in and gets two for it. Simple's on the flank already on the AWP. Stowen and Cadian. They manage at least to get the bomb down, but they have a tough situation. Completely surrounded. Easy shot for Simple into the side of Cadian, looking and distracted by the other direction. Smoke to dissipate. Now, Stowen has ramp. But Electronic goes straight through, knowing he would at least get information. And they'd already cleared the rest of the site. Trust me, lots can go wrong. But for their sake, yeah, they better hope nothing does. Electronic is going to go up above. That flash timing for forces him off. Perfecto's down below in the water as well, though. And that means he can swing out. Sprays for two on the... M4A1S. He's got to go back to reload. When he does, Electronic came out. Poor man's had a rough round. He gets blinded and then absolutely domed when he peeks. But guess what? There's still three players alive right now for Navi. And nobody else says they defuse the bomb, Jason. So has no idea about Pit. He's trying to call out numbers, trying to gather information. You could see him jumping to let his teammates know. I think he spotted one or two more. He certainly knows there's two now, but unfortunately, he was way too committed to get away from Tess's shot, who's playing a great game so far. And now Navi must move forward in a four on five. Austin D. Katie and taking substantial damage. But oh my goodness, still the advantage. Make that doubly so. Good nade strike. A little bit late to deny the plant, but it makes things very awkward and favorable for the retake. Simple is behind box. He is removed. Tessis is just just nailing heads this game. No one else is invested. Oh, my oh, God. What a find. That's so sick. It's just crazy how much you like. I guess I guess we see it in this perspective and it works, and so we think it's amazing. There's a lot of times that we that they do just. They, I mean, they are just spraying it preemptively, and it doesn't work out. But it just seems like it happens so much at a pro level compared to everything else. Cadian's gonna take down Boomich. Follows that up. Good little you can jive behind the truck. The man apparently can drive. He's got three from that position. That's going to give him enough to win out the round as Stalin comes in electronic falls. Tessis is going to have to shift away. And Navi is ready for the follow-up information. Peek or are they? Oh, good kill from Shush. And Simple still keeps it in a man advantage situation for Navi, but he wants one of them rifles. Cadian that's on the pillar this time. MP9, the AK is trying to take advantage of this bonus round, but well done from Cadian. Brings the money into a lovely position. Getting kills on an SMG. My God, I thought that was going to go his way as he peeked it perfectly behind the utility, but Simple's got other ideas. Absolutely. One HP. Quite the impactful pop flash that Heroic wanted it, that they needed it to be if they were going to win in that situation because neither player was fully blind. That right there. Simple just sliding into the fight against Tess's. Stowen's positioning with a deagle could very quickly find one kill. Oh, he's going to get impatient, though. Steps out to see what's going on, and he finds out the harsh way that Boomich is on the other side with the AK. Simple, he's forced forward. 5-7. Boomich gets that kill as well, and now Simple, being as close as he is, is yet to be spotted. Is going to try and make clean contact. Line up! Oh, my goodness, I thought he might get two, because Simple's low enough. Six HP. And Electronic finds the one man missing in the equation as he lurks into B. 13-6 for Navi. Bit working out mid. That's a Galil in hand. 
One player to find, the elbow is there, can't land the shot. Tesses goes down to 51, no one in position to trade. This might be one for one, but Electronic's not gonna swing wide enough. He's not ready for that, so good opening two kills for Heroic. It would be so good for this comeback, for any feeling that this comeback is possible, if you can at least keep players alive, if you can at least keep them alive in a victory, and all of a sudden we're even right back up. Tesses may be a bit early on that flank attempt. Electronic's timing is everything. Cadian waiting. He'll at least get spotted out. He'll at least... Oh, dear. Not only will he get spotted out, he'll get his head ripped off. Electronic 9 HP. And that's an immediate headshot. And Kadian's the only one at the bomb site. Refresh is rotating back right now. Simple and Perfecto can hear it. They're going to find a free site. Eight seconds on the clock. I think Refresh, you might as... Uh, what a tough call to make. I don't think he was really in position, but I think the only play to try and win this round was Refresh just going through that smoke and trying to stop the plant. So together that they'll also be found. They're covering off each angle. Electronic's not going to go any further. Oh, good shot from Electronic walking up. It's Boomich as well. Sometimes you got to take him down to get the frag at the end of the day. Boomich has found his way, and that's very Keanu Reeves of him. Speed reference right there. It's down up top. Tessis as well. But they got to play the post plant. They're going to try and slow things down, try and get one through the smoke. Almost perfectly timed for Boomich. However, Simple is going to step forward as Perfecto picks up the bomb. Well, prevents the plant. Simple. Stepping out manages to get Tessis down. He's gonna go again. Stowen drops and the bomb is planted. Not only did he protect, but he perfected the situation. Katie and the only one left. They know that he's likely not gonna be coming around from CT spawn. So simple, ready to pick point and see him. His shin shows. That gives Katie the chance to strike, knowing he was going back towards CT and he's not done there. Perfecto tagged to 67, tries to get to the pillar. Katie is gonna put him down through the wood and we are not done yet. We'll go 15 to seven. If they wanna take us there, simple around the smoke. We've seen him. Close out some rounds. We've seen him open up some rounds. This is another one of those. One for one as Stown cleans up the kill that Refresh began. Or now Sarasaurus is. I turned it into a dinosaur. But well, I like it. Boomich, ramp, headshot showing, tough shot to hit when Kadian's moving as he is, but when he comes back out, he's moved up slightly higher, bigger target, bigger success as he goes around Stawn as well. Tess is the only one left alive, manages to somehow pull that back very quickly, two, and almost the third. Little does he know, he sprays into the smoke and Perfecto gets hit, but he has the balls to go for more, and 16-7, Perfecto takes the one-on-one, -on -one, and Navi take the first map. Yeah, no matter what his HP is, when you're peeking from the bottom of that ramp, it's a tough fight, a little bit of a headshot, I need for small, small target. Two people here. Shush is forced passive, not overextending. He's seen nothing else, but meanwhile, the B-hit is on. Simple can actually back away, but you imagine he's going to sit here to try and backstab someone who's trying to rotate, try and find a timing. That's going to help, because now Heroic has to start making a move. They cannot sit and wait over at the A-bomb site. I say A might be their equal. A's got the two little steps downward. Maybe it's lower. Someone let us know. These are the things we're dying to find out. Vying for the knowledge as Stowen's vying to try and get back inside of the site. It's perfected with the corner. He looks the wrong direction at the right time if you're bit because that means he got the kill clean and quickly as Kadian has to try and respond now inside of the doorway. He's going to get peeked from two angles and the bomb too far gone. It's Navi going to take the opening round of Mirage. Yeah, Simple doesn't get any kills with that, with that play over at the A bomb site, but his presence there really slowed things down. Stown being a little aggressive in towards Con early on and Refresh being aggressive on Catwalk. He's going to have to back away. Let Stown handle business. It's just Boomich. Simple wasn't in a position to really help out, but Bit's going to recover, at least for the moment. Does Simple want to get put into play? One for one trade. So impactful for Navi. And this time, Simple does pick one out of the sky. That's Refresh jumping out a window. I would say Icarus flew way too close to the sun that time. He does go back toward Murder Hole. I'm impressed that they didn't even leave that, but Electronic nails him. And yeah, now Kadian's going to go, man, I'm a little mouse going to go back through the hole. You definitely didn't hear him. Definitely has no idea this is coming. Yeah, that, that, I, I, I'm impressed that he didn't hear him. I would have thought he would have heard him stampeding, but either way, it works out. Spots the backside. Perfecto gets the kill. Kadian will not keep the AWP. Yeah, they don't need the AWP either to pick up because Simple still has his. This is the shot I thought was going to land. Oof. Flick over was fast, but then, yeah, he gets Refresh being very committed to some kind of a, a mid-crunch. But Bit has this timing. He's going to come back up and look for it as we speak. 5-7 gets the dink and through the board. He couldn't duck down quick enough. Couldn't make himself a small enough target, but that's going to activate Navi over towards the A-bomb site. Perfecto already walking up the ramp. It's electronic to swing from Palace. Two players still to contend with inside of the bomb site. Molotov's going to force one at least out. Reverse side firebox is a lovely position, but it actually spreads that far. 
And Electronic able to get the kill over the top. It can be one of those spots that easily goes overlooked. Two on two, though. They've made this close. Tessis needs to be absolutely spot on when he comes around the corner. He's not even going to do that. He's waiting for a flash. Yeah, he's playing anti-flash. That's unfortunate for him. Low HP, though, is going to be a tough battle no matter what happened. So, one player to find. It's Kadian. And with the Deagle, might as well see if you can make some magic happen. You've got no armor, no point in trying to keep it in your hands. Stowen. Electronic. He's going to go back out for more. Nice follow-up flash as well. Kadian had the first one. Refresh with the second. Stowen gets both kills. Trish will take out Boomich. Perfecto is still going to try and find something with this as well. Spotted the jump. Can't do much with it. Going to bounce the Molotov underneath the shadow. They're going to... Oh, they thought about doubling that up, but Shish goes out. He'll burn, but not before leaving Simple suddenly solo. I think he's kind of trying to, like, uh, mimic the drop with that little bit of jump to see if he could pull a flanker to actually come through Palace. He was just trying to do some economic damage at the end. He knew that round was unwinnable. Tess is in Shush to push down A ramp again. Oh, simple. This pop flash, the timing of it is everything. It could be massive if it lands. There's the flash. Oh, they're so blind. They're both oh so blind. Oh, my. Perfection from Perfecto and Simple. <laughs> what are you supposed to do about Nothing. that one? Nothing. That, that, is, that is tilting. That is absolute oh, tilting. Oh, no. It just took down Refresh. Speaking of tilt, by the way, not that it applies to this particular matchup, as Perfecto should close out this round. Oh, much. no. It's gone. It's just Katie and left. It's all gone wrong. That's just an absolutely <laughs> I actually feel nightmare. so bad. <laughs> uh, it, speaking of tilting, though, I was in line for dinner this evening. It opens at 5.30. Okay. Apparently, a lot of people were hungry because the line was full as Katie and gets found. I forget who it was. I forget which coach it was. Ooh. Oh, good lord. Oh, they're going to press the issue. They, they love that. They're like, okay, we'll take this two on one that we know we have. They have a player in window as well. That's bit. Refresh. Refresh is burning out into the open. He's got one, but that's it. That's a bold move to try and get into our jail. This is such a common spot to Molotov now, and he pays the price for it, but this managed to at least get one. Bit will hold off middle. Bomb's going to be planted, and I think we have a 9 to 1 scoreline now. 9 to 1 scoreline. You might have all the guns taken away. Look at Kadian's position. He's at bench along the wall. He can't go anywhere. Good flashbang to get him out. That was critical. But they're a little bit split. He's going to go down regardless. Down, left alone, and CT spawn. This is Navi being clinical on the execution and ruthless in the hunt afterwards. Kadian using all the utility just to try and stay alive. He's got all his utility left because the round was so fast. I think Navi, I think Navi was like, oh shit, he can actually make it to the B bomb set. We have nobody there. <laughs> Sip was jumping back to catwalk. Oh, shush. Shush. Boomich. Go to sleep. Scout's got the headshot. Bit's gonna jump out, drop in. Tessis has that kill. And suddenly, without much for weaponry, it looks like a possible chance for a round going heroic's way. I say that. And Electronic's gonna pull back too. A two on two indeed, but they don't know Stowens here. Even though he's only got a Deagle. Uh -oh. Gonna check it, sees it, lines up the headshot, and that's gonna turn back Electronic's attention. What a shot for the second one. They will get 9-2. Electronic's not gonna slide into it quite yet. It's a patience game. At some point, you have to imagine Electronic's gonna make his move. It's just as that kill comes out. Kadian holding his nerve. Maybe a half second slow, but he still lands the kill. Shush as well finds Bit trying to sneak in. Boomich grabs one, and there's a player on staircase as well. That could be huge. That's simple. But all of his teammates are gone. All of his teammates are dead. Simple sliding out. Misses the shot. Misses the opportunity onto Shush. Nine to three. Heroic fighting back with two in a row. Bit sneaking from underpass, does do a lot of damage, tries to even spray into the smoke to catch down in retreat, but couldn't find the final bullets. Or bullets, I should say, given he's still oh, alive. He burns. Good Molotov, and Stowen sticking around, perhaps. Should have done otherwise. Nice shot from Bit to catch a refresh up on top of the fence. Kadian finds Boomish no scope through the edge of the smoke and falls off of it. And as he does, he's greeted by none other than Simple, who now picks up an AWP. And I said 9 to 6, but it maybe I meant 10 to 5. It's been measured and clinical throughout this whole half. And in this final round, Navi introduces a little bit of chaos into the game. Smoke to the middle of the side. Simple's gonna have a gap to work with in that smoke. He's found one already. Smartly backs away from it. I love that he's using the P2000. It gives him the more ammunition. Perhaps that is the sole reason why. I don't think anyone's going that way. No, it doesn't look like it at the moment, but he could actually be massive in CT spawn later on. There's no smoke for the bomb. There is a kit on Perfecto, so keep your eyes on him. Tess is 
Taking some duels, but Kadian's got the first kill. Now Refresh is being put into play. He's going to start flanking through Murder Hill, so his teammates have to stay alive. While well, this play comes to fruition, Tessis goes down. We're going to get to the bomb. Refresh went back the other direction. He could still have a chance in this. He knows he's got to play the time to perfection, and they're already looking at They know they didn't clear CT. Bit plays bodyguard. And Navi get 11. Tess is sliding up. Electronic is ready. MP9. He's going to go for it immediately. He's going to get two. Forget trigger discipline. I take it back. Boomich actually found one, but he was still there. Then a resounding effort. Simple's going to burn alive, but not before doubling up as well as Kadian and Refresh found toward a main. And it's all down in mid. That pesky Molotov. I think it was Latessas who was tagged by that Molotov that gave away the game. Missed shot from Simple. Tough one to hit, though. Boomich. Good find. Takes out Electronic. Gonna do more than that as he gets a refresh as well. Tessa's the only kill back in return, and bit blind somehow gets Kadian. So things not going well for Heroic. But they're only one man down, and the bomb gets planted. Tessis manages to get through the smoke as well at jungle. This could isolate Simple. That's a close AWP, but it's Simple that's holding it as always. 13 to 5 for Na'Vi. Let's just take take the leash off. Like everyone, everyone go do a play. Everyone go try and find a kill. Make a play that you really, really enjoy. Call, do you need me to throw a flash for you? Make everyone a play get an individual that makes your dick hard. Yeah, the classic. GB it, James. <laughs> GB James. Uh, one of my favorite quote quotes. I'm amazed Yanko hasn't retweeted that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. Yeah, I'm surprised that hasn't come up on everyone's Twitter by now. As uh, Tess is trying to spray back through the smoke, the bomb will get planted. Electron doesn't have vision of the planter, so he sprays in and finds him anyway. Sure, far. Sure, Tessis gets Electronic. He'll put a Molotov down in front of the window. Ooh, going to take out Simple as well. Hold the phone. We got 11 HP, though, and Bit's going to make sure he has none when this round is over, as well as defusing the bomb. Maybe Heroic have clued in that... Now you take... You have plenty of time to warm up in the quarterfinals. It's kind of one of my favorite parts about this format is the extended playoffs makes it makes it pretty tough. It's going to be fun. Going to be fun. Ten round lead. It's going to have to be ten rounds in a row just for overtime. Not even a victory. In the more individualistic style. Oh, simple. Flexing with the auto step. Well, maybe not, maybe not flexing. He tried. He did his, he did his best. Bit's going to hold the line. Sprays down two. Damages the others massively. Electronic out in the open. They know where both players are. Electronic not even considering Palace just yet as he shifts into the bomb site. He won't need to. Perfecto has shut down Shush. Stown. Oh, pick it up. Pick it up on the rotation. Come on. I don't mind that idea. No, I think it's a terrible idea. Please don't. Of course it is, Matt. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you for playing along. <laughs> of course it is. Well, now I know how you feel about all my ideas, Jason. Yeah, I mean, when I when I don't support him, I get yelled at. And then when I do support him, I get yelled at. 16 to 5, good victory for Na'Vi. A statement win at the end of the group stage. Any questions about some shakiness in a couple maps here or there throughout the groups? Well, we can forget about those because Na'Vi has built fully into this event.